What's going on everybody? Thanks again so much for joining me here today. This is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, and this week on The Drill is um, a beginning of a new series I'm gonna be working on. I'm actually working through the Gorilla Guide to X Particles. If you haven't, uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, it's linked down in the show notes below. It is a training program offered by Grayscale Gorilla with very in-depth uh, walkthrough on all aspects of X Particles. So I'm actually going through X Particles 3.5 now. Um, I want to be able to justify upgrading to X Particles 4, but I um, purchased this a little while ago and I still have yet to take the time to go through it. So I really want to explore a, a lot more of X Particles and some more production ready uh, uh, you know, applications for it before diving into uh, two other things. I, I find often it's really easy to want to buy like new tools, but sometimes you've got to learn you know, the first thing you have before you go there. So. With, uh, with this lesson, I'm, I'm building an advanced rain setup. And what was really cool about this is the with the advanced rain, um, not only are you building uh, an advanced rain emitter, which consists of um, rain particles falling and uh, setting up rules so that uh, the size of the particle affects the speed that they're falling. And, and each particle has its own terminal velocity, which is the, the speed that it will max out in, in a realistic way. Um, and essentially what it's doing is building a physically accurate and physically realistic emitter. So um, I'm using this, uh, from there, I'm, I'm building um, coll uh, collisions on the surface of my skull in this, in this case. And those collisions um, actually kill the particle um, and spawn 10 more particles per collision, which which causes these little this really awesome splatter effect. And then on top of that, um, using um, X particles built in wet maps is like opened up like a huge world of like possibility for me. So I'll get into the vertex maps in a second. But right now I'm just building a vertex map, um, and that's all tied in with X particles. So. Um, Using certain parameters, uh, you're, I'm defining which areas of my uh, collision surface are going to get wet based on the particles hitting it. So, as far as like rain, is a really really cool way to make very realistic rain. Uh, with octane, I'm not sure if there's an issue that I'm running into. Um, I will take a little more time to research this, but I was actually getting the vertex maps to work um, in the live viewer to the right, but in the actual renders that I kicked out, I was not getting the vertex maps to work properly. And I think, I, you know, doing some research, I found some people talking about that. And I'm trying to see if there's a, I just upgraded to the most recent version, hoping that would fix it, but it's so far it hasn't. Um, so what you can see there is I used a polygon material uh, of like water droplets to um, act as the material. And what I have is a mix material, an octane mix material where I have my matte black dry skull and then the vertex map is revealing the, the water droplets. So here's actually a shot of what I, I was able to save from the live viewer. And you can see water droplets all over it um, where the water is like doing up or pulling up. To make it even more realistic, I, I think you I would go ahead and do like animated displacement at that point and have like streaks of water running down but alas I'm just kind of running into trouble altogether so what I ultimately came out with uh, I did several different renders this was my favorite uh, of those that I put together and um, at first it was kind of like a, like a two-face kind of half and half like the rain was hitting like half the skull um, but ultimately I went with like rain on the whole skull and the collisions are working awesome. The particle splatter, so the rain droplet splatter is looking awesome. And then just uh, pretty standard uh, compositing, just gave it a cool color grade, uh, give it a little uh, f uh, trademark little flicker in the in, from the left and right uh, sides there. And uh, with some real smart motion blur on, on the comp itself, gave some uh, a little bit more realistic blurring to the water droplets. This looks like it was filmed at like a super high shutter speed, so I would play around with that more to get like more natural blurring. But it's a really, really cool way to uh, to explore X particles. I already can't recommend 
uh, Gorilla Guide to X Particles enough. Um, next week I'll be jumping into Snow and Advanced Snow, um, and there's just like s such a world of possibilities that the rules that were used to make this can be applied to as far as other creative avenues. So. Um, for example, I was thinking about using wet maps to like reveal, you know, use some sort of uh, collision to reveal maybe a new color or crazy displacement or something like that. So uh, there is the render. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Uh, that's all for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. Visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at jeremy at jeremywalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.